Tonight on Way 31 News at 6, a rise in dog attacks in North Alabama. This as an 83 year old man died after dogs attacked him in his own front yard. Way 31 reporter Paige Meyer joins us live now after speaking with Morgan County Animal Control about this incident. Paige. Yes, Nicole, Morgan County Animal Control says they've seen firsthand a spike in dog attacks in our area. Now, right now, I'm at the Lawrence County Animal Shelter, where authorities tell me the two dogs who allegedly attacked 83-year-old Willard Norton are being held. Now, I have tried to reach out to the shelter multiple times today. However, I have been sent to voicemail. I've been trying to figure out what will happen to these two dogs. Now, the Morgan County Animal Sh Control did tell me that stricter leash laws may just help something like this from happening again in our area. Now, the director of Morgan County Animal Control says says he can recall more than five instances of people being killed by dog attacks in North Alabama over the past two years. He tells me penalties need to be harsher and laws need to be stricter to stop this cycle. Now, if you come across dogs that do not belong to you, he recommends a few things you can do to help protect yourself. If you're at home in your yard and you're working outside and an aggressive animal comes towards you, the best thing that you can do is get something between you and that animal. Tucker recommends if you're going outside for extended periods of time, you should carry a small taser with you. He says the sound alone should help scare an animal away. He says if you don't have anything, stand your ground and slowly move backwards with your hands pushed out in front of you. Now, Tucker says if you can, call 911 as soon as possible, and authorities will contact the appropriate parties to come and help. Now, as far as uh, what is happening with this current dog attack, authorities say that this investigation is still ongoing. Make sure to stick with Way 31 News for updates. Reporting live in Lawrence County with coverage you can count on. Paige Meyer, Way 31 News. Great.